Welcome to a lesson on writing linear equations in general form to represent application problems. General form is the form ax plus by equals c, where the variables are x and y, a is the coefficient of x, b is the coefficient of y, and c is a constant. Let's look at our first example. Movie tickets cost $7 for adults, $5.50 for children. A total of $668 was collected in ticket sales for the Saturday matinee. We're asked to write an equation representing the total amount of money collected. Notice how there are two unknowns in this situation. One unknown is the number of adult tickets sold, and the second unknown is the number of children's tickets sold. Let's assign variables for these unknowns. So let's let A equal the number of adult tickets sold, And let's let C equal the number of children's tickets sold. And now let's write an equation to represent this situation. The money collected from adult tickets would have to be $7 times A, the number of adult tickets sold. So we have $7 times A plus the amount of money collected from children's tickets would have to be $5.50 times C, the number of children's tickets sold, so $5.50 times C, this total must equal the total amount collected of $668. So this is the equation, but normally when writing an equation, we leave the units off, and so our final linear equation will be 7A plus 5.5C equals 668. And now for part B, if 42 tickets were purchased for this matinee, how many children were there? So because we're told 42 adult tickets were purchased, we know A is equal to 42. So we'll now substitute 42 for A in our equation and solve for C. Forming the substitution, we would have 7 times 42 plus 5.5 C must equal 668. Well, 7 times 42 is equal to 294. So we have 294 plus 5.5C equals 668. Next step, we want to isolate the C term. So we'll subtract 294 on both sides. Simplifying, this would be 0. So we have 5.5C equals 668 minus 294 is equal to 374. And last step, divide both sides by 5.5. Simplifying here, we get 1 C or C equals 374 divided by 5.5 is equal to 68. So because C equals 68, we now know 68 children attended the matinee. Let's look at a second example. Juan has a pocket full of dimes and quarters. The total value of his change is $6.25. We begin by defining the variables. We don't know how many dimes Juan has or how many quarters he has. These are the two unknowns. So let's let D equal the number of dimes and Q equal the number of quarters. We know each dime is worth 10 cents, and each quarter is worth 25 cents. So the value of the dimes would have to be 10 cents times d the number of dimes. Plus, the value of the quarters would have to be 25 cents times q the number of quarters. And the total value must be $6.25, which gives us our linear equation. Notice how here this equation is written in dollars. We could write an equivalent equation using cents. So this would be a possible equation, or we could say 10 cents times D, the number of dimes, plus 25 cents times Q, the number of quarters, must equal $6.25, which would be 625 cents. Either equation would be correct, 
To write the final equation, though, we'll leave the units off. So if this was the equation we wanted to use, we'd have 0.1d plus 0.25q equals 6.25, or using sense, we'd have 10d plus 25q equals 625. Notice this equation has decimals. This equation doesn't. So this equation would actually be easier to work with. But they are equivalent, and either is correct. Now let's look at part B. If one has seven quarters in his pocket, how many dimes are there? So if he has seven quarters, they're telling us that Q is equal to seven. Performing substitution in, let's say, this equation here, we'd have 10D plus 25 times seven equals 625. 25 times 7 equals 175, so we have 10D plus 175 equals 625. Isolate 10D by subtracting 175 on both sides, simplifying. We have 10D equals 625 minus 175 is 450. Last step, divide both sides by 10. Simplifying, we get 1D or D equals 450 divided by 10 is equal to 45. So D equals 45, which means one has 45 dimes. I think we'll stop here for this part. We'll look at some more examples in part two. I hope you found this helpful.